Hi everyone, welcome back. So Christmas is nearly here and I've been getting so many requests for a Christmas rice or festive rice. And I'm not a lover of Christmas rice, I like plain old fried rice. But my mom though, she makes a really good Christmas rice. It's not entirely traditional because she had so many picky children. She had to come up with something that we would all eat. Before I get into the video, let me wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2018. Make it a really safe and enjoyable one. And as you watch the video, I'm probably in Trinidad soaking up the sun, so you know what that means. There's going to be a lot of Batman videos coming up soon, so look out for that. I hope you all enjoy my mom's recipe for Christmas rice or festive rice. So here's what you're going to need for the Christmas rice or the festive rice. I have some boiled rice. This rice has been boiled between mushy and hard. So it's just in between. It's kind of like when you're making fried rice. So I'm using parboiled rice. You can use jasmine rice, basmati rice any type of rice you want. So I boiled mine today. What you could do is boil it the night before, put it in the fridge. When you wake up in the morning, it's gonna be nice and dry because you don't want a very wet rice. You want it to be dry. So if you boil it the same day, make sure it cools down and it's not too hot and sticky. And I also find the rice cooker cooks it perfectly. I also have some green and red sweet peppers or bell peppers. And the reason why I'm using red and green is because it's Christmas. So we want those festive colors. I'm also using some cranberries in place of the raisins. My mom chose to use cranberries because both my sister and I hate raisins. Hate is a strong word. I could tolerate it in some things, but for rice, I just can't do it. So I have some walnuts and some cashews here. My mom actually adds just cashews, but I love walnuts, so I'm gonna add some walnuts. You can add some pecans, some almonds, macadamia nuts, whatever you wanna add. I might add a little bit of pecans too. So I just have these chopped pecans, I'll add those and I'll chop these up before adding it too. Over here I have half of a red scotch bonnet pepper as well as half of a green scotch bonnet. These are extremely hot so I didn't use the whole thing. Like I'm kind of choking up the talk right now because it's so strong. But you can omit this hot pepper and just use pimento peppers or any type of mild peppers. I have some pimento peppers here that I just finely chop. You can use red as well but I don't know why it's so hard to find red pimento peppers in New York. So I'm just gonna use the green one. I have some garlic and some ginger, just minced finely. I know a lot of you don't like ginger, so if you don't want to add it, it's totally optional. I have some chopped celery leaf as well as the stalk. So I just chopped it up very finely. I also have some chopped shadow benny or bandania, also called culantro or ricao. And I'm just gonna use this to garnish the rice when it's finished. You can also garnish the rice with some scythe or some scallions. So I also have some green and red food coloring. I'm not gonna use these because I'm not a fan of coloring in anything. I mean, I eat it, but I'm not a fan of it. My mom likes to color her rice though, but I'm gonna go the more natural way. So to get the rice green, I'm gonna use matcha powder instead of green food coloring. And this is just things I have on hand. I know in Trinidad it's gonna be hard to find these ingredients. Instead of the matcha, you can boil some spinach leaves or pound it up and just take the juice from it and mix it in the rice. I haven't tried it so I'm not sure how it'll turn out but I have tried the matcha and it did work. The only thing you have to worry about is whatever ingredient you're using, it is going to flavor the rice. I did try it out and this is some matcha colored rice and this is beet colored rice. This is the beet powder I use, it doesn't have any sugar in it or anything. This is what I put in smoothies or I just mix it in a glass of water and drink it. So when I'm finished filming this video, I'm going to try out some other natural ingredients that we could use to color the rice. Lastly, I'm gonna use some butter. And you know I love my Irish butter. So I'm gonna use some Irish butter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is color the rice. I'm gonna do the red first. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the beet powder. And this beet tends to get really lumpy. I don't know why. So just make sure it's broken up. Beet does have a really strong taste and smell. So if you're not used to it, don't use too much. To that beet powder, I'm adding a little bit of water. You don't want this to be too runny because remember it's going into rice and we don't want the rice to be too mushy. So you have to give that a good mix until it comes together into a nice paste. Make sure it has no lumps. So as I mentioned, my mom doesn't color a lot of the rice. She just colors a little bit. So you're just gonna mix that in. And I have to say, it's not gonna give you a very red color like what food coloring will give you. So if you wanna go ahead and use the food coloring, that's totally fine. 
because you're just gonna do this for Christmas time anyway. If you wanted a stronger color, you can also add some more beet paste. That color looks good, I think. Now it's time for the green. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the matcha powder. And matcha is very expensive, so you can't use too much. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water. For matcha, there's a bamboo whisk that's used because matcha is quite lumpy. So the bamboo whisk really gets it nice and smooth, but, but I think I lost my bamboo whisk. So I'm just gonna use a regular spatula here. So just mix that in. So I think I need to mix some more of that paste because this one is a little dull. So I think this green looks good. What do you think? If you want it to be a little darker, you can add some more. But as I said before, remember, the more you add is the more flavor it's gonna add to your rice. So what you want to do, because we added the water, you wanna let this dry completely. Because if we go to mix this into the white rice now, it's just gonna transfer all the colors onto the white rice, which we don't want. So I have my heat on medium high. I'm gonna add a piece of butter. And I'm also adding some of this avocado oil. So you just want the butter to melt and the oil to heat up. First I'm gonna add my garlic and ginger. After about 30 seconds, add the pimento peppers, the hot pepper. After a minute, add those colored sweet peppers or bell peppers. And you'll see how nice and colorful it's gonna look. And you see how vibrant these colors look? If you overcook it, it's not gonna look that vibrant, so you wanna try your best not to overcook it. So I just left it for 30 seconds. I'm gonna go in with the white rice now. Well, the parboiled rice. Mix in your green rice. And your red. I know the red is the most vibrant color, but it's fine. You could still see that the rice is very festive. So I added salt while I was boiling the rice, but if you want to go in with a little touch of salt, you could do that. Next I'm going to add the celery, and I'm going to go in with those nuts, so the pecans and the cashews, and I'm going to add a few pecans. These are chopped already, give that a good mix. And at this point, you could taste it to see if it needs anything. And lastly, before you turn the rice off, add in the cranberries or the raisins. I think it needs a little more. If you wanted, you could chop the cranberries smaller. So I'm gonna turn it off now. You can finish this with a little bit more butter. You can finish it with some sesame oil. I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of chopped bandana. And that's it. That is how simple it is to make my mom's Christmas rice or festive rice. So you can also garnish this with some scythe or some scallions. You can add whatever type of vegetables you want to add to this. You could add some peas, some carrots, some zucchini, whatever you want to add to the rice. Or you can even add some bodhi or string bean. That would go great in this rice. So I hope you all enjoyed this really simple, delicious recipe. Thank you so much to my mom for sharing this recipe with me. I did make some tweaks to the recipe. I colored the rice using natural colors and I added some more nuts, the walnuts and the pecans. But overall, it turned out amazing. I know this is going to be a hit at your Christmas table. So be sure to leave me all your comments down below. I love hearing from you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel to see all the latest videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2018. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!